<sighs> All relaxed. No more news to report on. <sighs> I've done a lot over these last two days. I don't need any more news updates. Oh. <sighs> Hang on. Vatika's opening this Saturday at the Requay de Tocures. Well, gotta do it. Gotta do it. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadogs the Born Bought Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update where today we have some massive, massive, massive news from Le Requi de Tocciones. My French pronunciation is impossible to describe. This is on their brand new Gersla Eurofighter Vatika as we have some official news that the park is reopening on Saturday, June 6th. And you know what else is opening on June 6th? The coaster itself. So before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss any more factual entertainment from Coaster Chell. Please like this comment. Comment this like. I don't know which way round it works. Please share the channel with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you get your questions in for our next Q&A. We've got some all sent in already. Get some more sent in. We want to try and crack the question code and the question count from the last Q&A, ready for when we hit 2,000 subscribers. And we're getting closer and closer, guys. We're getting closer, so it's not much time to send in your questions because we could hit 1,700 subs in, in no time at all, and then 1,800, then 1 1.9, then we could hit the massive 2,000. And for now, guys, let's get into this very video. Don't forget to use your hashtag question before or after your question as well. Forgot to say that. Sorry about that. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So today, we're going to share with you the news that Fatika is set to open along with the rest of the Requa de Tuacores Park on Saturday, June 6th. So Fatika will be open by then. If you're down low at the park, my Instagram's in the description down below as well as my Twitter and Snapchat. Please send some footage over from the opening day. I want to you know, produce some opening day footage montage for Vatika, uh, just to keep guys entertained. Uh, <laughs> uh, but today is all about going over the project, because this is a project we have covered for a while. Months and months and pretty much a year. We've covered this project for pretty much over a year. Uh, so this all started way back in the days when we had a couple of hundred subs and I I first reported that Vatique, that this whole coast of Vatica was happening and the fact that the Requidetua Cures was opening a 5 million euro roller coaster. Then stuff started to move forward and we got the rumour of a Gerslauer. Now I first predicted at the time either a Eurofighter or an Infinity Coaster. I I predicted an Infinity Coaster before we got the teasers, we got loads of different drawings and we got the idea that it was going to be a Eurofighter. Now I thought it would be a specific model and then we got the announcement of Vatika and we knew then and there it was going to be a custom layout Eurofighter, it was going to be a custom layout, nothing like the rest of the models and it was going to be completely different. So now we have some official pictures from the part themselves, there was a new source that has these pictures so big shout out to you on Facebook, I can't remember your name, I'm really sorry, uh, but there are some pictures uh, from the park. Uh, that shows, that officially shows, the finished ride in full. So I'm going to put a few of them on your screen now. Find a bit easy. Look at that. Now, while those pictures are on your screen, I'm going to tell you guys about Vertica, um, the, the, well, the ride, basically. So the stats and facts, for those of you who are new to these videos, that have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. So this has a length of 1,443.6 feet. It has a height of 88.6 feet, a speed of 49.7 miles per hour. It has two inversions, a loop and a corkscrew, along with that vertical chain lift with a vertical angle of 91 degrees. Built by Gerslauer, costs 5 million euros, and absolutely wows us. Uh, now this, my friends, is one project I will always remember. I will always remember this project because it was the project that 
drove the French parks coverage on this channel forward. It was the ones that inspired the coverage of Disney, Park Asterix, all these other French parks, Negloland, Park Slate Paul, all these parks in France, Le Paul, you know, we've covered so many parks in France, Le Paul, they're going to get a, a Mac uh, Super Splash, like Atlantica uh, Europa in 2021, we're going to be covering that. Park Asterix's brand new Intamin multi-launch for 2022, we're going to be covering that still on the channel. We've got Disney projects going on at Paris with the, the Walt Disney Studios expansion. We've got all that to look forward to. Ni Negloland. It's not Nigloland like I first thought. It's Negloland, uh, thanks to a French viewer. And uh, <laughs> you know who you are. Big shout out to you for commenting the right pronunciation for it. Um, so Negloland's got this brand new coaster coming for 2021. They've got a new coaster set to come this year, but I think it might get postponed to next year, maybe? Or it may open still in 2020. Who knows? Uh, but we've got a new coaster coming to 2021 at that park. So we've got. We've also got Park St. Paul. We've reported in the past about how, how they may want to invest in a hotel accommodation in the future. We've got loads of French park updates and it all started with Le Requi de Cures and this Vatica project. I was looking so much younger back then. I was 19, yes it's only a year, but I was still looking a lot younger then and I've definitely, I think the moustache and the, the sideburns have grown since then on, the, on, on me. Uh, <laughs> uh, but this whole project over the last year has been I'm not going to lie to you guys, it has been a pleasure, an absolute honour to cover this ride, to cover this whole process. Uh, now, like with other projects, what I'm thinking about doing is releasing a montage video of my best moments during this process. So all the videos across the... Um, you know the project I may compile all of them into one montage so it may be best moments or funny moments or it may be um, you know like all the videos literally the full length of the videos in one mo on one long video uh, so it could be like an hour long or so so it could be literally an hour long of the process of Vatika which is you know it's gonna be a long editing process on that one but you know I'm up for the challenge uh, but so I'm thinking about doing that so comment down below if you want to see that for this process and for the other uh, coasters as well but I just want to say that it's been an honour to cover this coaster, absolute honour, like it was with Iron Gwazi, like it is with Pantheon, like it is with Gangster Grind of the Ride at Alton Towers, Tornado Springs at Paltons Park, like all these projects, it has been an honour to cover this project. And can I just say, by the way, I think I think they liked a couple of posts on Instagram, and I know I've definitely sent some video links and they've liked them over there. But the actual park themselves, the Requi de Tuacures, and by the way, if the if you want this park to see this, please send the link to them. But the Requi de Tuacures, I want to say to you guys, you are amazing. You are absolutely incredible park in France. I want to visit you one day. I want to ride this coaster myself since I've covered this for over a year. I want to ride the coaster myself at some point. Um, and Vatika, it is just it. It's it's weird. It's weird doing this because this is pretty much obviously because it's going to open on Saturday. This is the last update you're going to see on Vatika, which is it's it's weird. It's absolutely weird to 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 actually know that this is the last time you're going to cover this. Uh, apart from obviously when you go and ride it yourself. But in terms of updates on construction or testing or any new news, this is the last update. This is the last video on it. So. It's a bit weird that a year goes by and it's just happened like that. It's so weird that it's happened just like that. So, I want to say thank you to the park because you've put together a fantastic Eurofighter and I can't wait to ride it at some point in the future because it is an exciting project. I, I, I won't be there on Saturday, obviously, for the opening day because obviously UK, France, international travel, voila. But, in the future, I would love to go to this park, to your park, the Rec Grey, to your park, and experience this coaster, because it's a credit that, it's it's a fun credit, a Eurofighter is always a good credit, uh, you know my thoughts on Saw the Ride, obviously I haven't done Rage at Adventure Island or Speed at Oakwood yet, obviously the UK ones, but, 
Euro fighters are still good looking coasters. Some of them may not ride as good, but some of them look amazing and ride amazing. You know, Saw the Ride has its moments, but it does alright. It does alright for the job it's supposed to do. So, you know, Vatika is a coaster I want to experience in the, in the near future, in the next few years. But the Requay, you are amazing. Everyone that's viewed these Vatika videos, you are amazing as well. That's it. That is it. That is literally the news. I just have to share some pictures with you, speak about the opening day, speak about the history of this whole project, and also just say thank you for watching all these Vatika updates because this is another coaster project that's been, gone, finished on the channel in terms of updates. Tick, tick, tick. Throw it in the in the vintage legendary coaster shelves of memorabilia on this channel. Um, and I'm going to look back on this project in a few years and say that's when I covered this coaster. Um, especially when I've ridden it for the first time. I think once I've ridden it for the first time, I'll look back on this project and say that's when I first covered the project that I've just ridden. So, you know, it's very interesting. So thank you, I can't believe I'm saying this, but thank you guys for watching the final update, news update, on Vatika at Lorecque de Tuacures. Thank you very much. Like I said, if you're there on the opening day on Saturday, send some footage over to the Instagram, at Aaron Chandler Official. Uh, I'll be able to give you my email, send them across on the Instagram privately. I don't want to put my email out there because, obviously, you know what people are like nowadays. But, you know, if you want to send some footage over, message me on Instagram and I'll, send, and I'll give you the email and send it over. But, honestly, since it's the last update, just thank you for watching these Vatika updates. Um... It's a bit weird doing your last update on this coaster because, you know, it's, it's the last one. It's the last update on a project you've covered for about a year. So, obviously, other projects I've covered for more than a year. But with this one, I've covered it the entire year from start to finish. So, you know, it's... You know, it's, it's, it's weird that you get, a year goes by so quickly. And we're here in this position doing this last update. So... Thank you guys so, so much for watching the final update on Vatika. God, it feels weird saying that. Thank you very much. Please like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this, for more projects like this. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow. Keep living the coast life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.